Hello. Happy New Year. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hi. It's so Happy New Year. Is it bright or is it just me? Is it just bright or is it just me? No, it looks fine. No, me. I'm like really I can't I can't open my eyes. It's so bright. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> like Hi! Hi! How are you guys doing? Happy New Year! Happy Happy New Year! I like how you're just so short. I know. You just can't even see me. <laughs> it's just you're me. Just, you're just like panning at me. You're like, hi everybody! <laughs> well, there is a height difference. I mean, look at how much taller he is compared to me. I'm only five feet, so. So, guess what? Oh wait, I can't open my I need to grab your sunglasses. So if you guys uh, saw the post, we are actually going to try something different start of the new year and we're going to do all kinds of things different with this thing. Ohio, hello from Morocco. Happy new year. We're going to start off with a eating live. <laughs> hey Oliver, Joe, Cynthia, Mary. Uh, so we are at Chirugua, and this is a Okinawa restaurant. They have Okinawa soba, fried rice, that kind of stuff, and it's actually amazing. Some of the best, uh, well, I like it. Some of the best food oh, in actually, Okinawa. Joe. And, oh, is Joe in here? Well, I'm going to show them where we're at. If you want to know where this is at, some of the best Okinawan food in Okinawa, I think, well, as far as like a little chain restaurant goes. Uh, not a lot of Americans because they have zero, zero English on the sign. But this is where we're at. There's... So what are we look like it keeps disconnecting Ohio. There's a Yakiniku place here. Right next to it. Coco's Curry there. Uh, Arashi Ramen there and Chirugua where we're gonna eat which I think a lot of uh, Americans know Arashi and a lot of Americans know Coco's Curry of course but this place since it, sorry guys it keeps disconnecting this is like not a good zone anyway we're gonna go in Here's the foods they have. Okay, so we'll flip this around. That's not very strong. Okay, we don't know how this is going to work here. Yeah, we need a tripod. You can actually see Matt's face, <laughs> like really well. <laughs> so we're at Chitagua today. Um, you guys are at the end of the table. I can't bring you any farther back. <clears throat> but here is the menu. You guys want to see the menu? It's very frustrating that that doesn't have a wide angle. Here's the menu. This is their Okinawa Soba line. 
Sammai Niku Soba, Soki Soba. Soki is probably my favorite. And then they have the Gyuniku Yasai, and then all of this. And look at the price, $15 or 1,500 yen. So about like $16, 14, something like that for that much food. And they give you a lot. Like this is only 11. This is $11 and so much food too. If that was in, um, if that was in Sacramento where we, we came from, that would be like close to probably $20, no jokes. So. I used to get this when I was a kid. Katsudon. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. There's the taco rice, the famous taco rice. Hi, Mary. Hi, Val. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Crystal. Amber. Hello from Minnesota. James, Bernard, Oliver. Um, This right here. Just made cocos for dinner. Oh, Here's nice. Right. This right here, okay, this right here is the best fried rice on this planet. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> yeah, it's better than that place. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this place right here has probably one of the best fried rice I've ever had in my life. I'm pretty sure they use lard, probably. <laughs> so definitely not vegetarian or vegan friendly. Yeah, a lot of people really like the fried rice at Arashi over there. Yeah, Arashi's across the street. Um, and theirs is pretty good, too. There's, and they're fun, because they put it on, like, a, like a hot plate, so it's, yeah. it's like, crisp, so, crispy. Yeah, a lot of people know that fried rice, but if you're at this specific Arashi, just come across the street, because this one's better, I promise you. But this is, like, like I said, it's sort of unknown to Americans, because there's literally no english writing on this building yeah it's a, so but no one even knows what it is yeah nobody knows what it is it's an okinawan restaurant you get great okinawan food i love it um i usually order this happy new year alice i usually order this called the pork fried rice that's what i'm gonna get you too okay i guess we're I'm both i get the mini soba set though are you getting the beef or the pork okay because that's what i was gonna get mm -hmm. All right, I guess we're getting the same I'll get thing. The beef. Okay. Beef food, mm -hmm. I love how none. Of, I love how neither of us ever get the shrimp. Mm. I'd rather have beef. I think. You ready to order then? Yeah. Okay. And obviously, this button. I don't know if you guys know what this button is. It's but it's a button to call the waiter or the wait staff. So you'll hear it ding as soon as I push it. I don't know if you guys heard it. <laughs> Joe's online. Hi, Joe. Look where. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Hi. Ah, eto, pork chahan. No, ano han soba set to hitotsu ni. So, shite, you want beef? Ah, beef chahan. Ah, mini soba set to. Ah, sense. Ah, no, atashi mo mini soba set to de. Ah, kuchara mini soba. Onegai shimasu. Pork chahan. Hi. <laughs> okay, so, um, Joe, guess what? We're at Chitagua. Look at that. You know what that is? That's that's uh, Arashi's. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Ara we're across the street from Arashi's to have their fried rice, but um, here is like I think this is the locations they have it. This is the one we're at. We're at the one in Misato. Um, this I believe the Chatan one closed. I don't even know if the Chatan one exists anymore. We got you, Oliver. Um, and then so they also own Captain's Inn, which is all around like Naha. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a few things that they have. This is the Tonkatsu Teishoku area they have. <laughs> uh, 
it would cost probably jail time because I think it's illegal to send food no, <laughs> through the post office. They just office. confiscate it. I don't think they send you to jail for right. sending beef. <laughs> They're like, what are you trying to pull right yeah. now? It's not cocaine, kid. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, this fried rice is really addicting. <laughs> Hi, Jim. All right, I'm going to put you guys down just for a second. Hello. Hi. How are you beautiful people doing while we're waiting for our food? It probably cost at least 30 bucks. A hundred bucks if you want it to be edible. <laughs> so while we're here, I can show you guys what's kind of like the restaurant. Do you want, I, let me show you. So this is what the restaurant looks like. Kind of traditional. I like how everything's made out of wood. All those seats are floor seating. Yeah, so. We didn't sit on the floor though. It's one of those where you sit on the tatami mats and then, you know, um, I don't know. I like it. I like the tatami mat style. But here's what's on our table. Uh, we have toothpicks. <laughs> this is the shimi. This is the seven, seven spice. Uh, it makes your stuff a little bit spicier. I love it. It's It's got a really good flavor to it. This is called la yu. Oops. Um, and it's it's alcohol, like vinegared alcohol. Spicy vinegared alcohol with that with peppers in it. And it's so good but you can't have too much of it because uh especially if you're driving <laughs> if it's, really yeah you're actually not sh you shouldn't be eating this because people have gotten pulled over and their license stopped because they had some alcohol in their system from this oh really which sucks because this is i love putting this in my you're soba it all over the place. i know it's it's dripping obviously chopsticks uh the the pickled ginger Happy New Year, Bernard. Um, it smells like ass because it's pickled and vinegared and alcohol. But, oh, we also got hot tea. So hot green tea or sampincha. I think that's sampincha actually. Hot sampincha and then water. And I'm going to put you guys down. And fin Cynthia I finally can taste. taste. It's not as strong as before, but better now since COVID. I am still having muscle leg cramps. We just found out one of our friends, we just found out one of our dear friends and her entire family caught it over Christmas. Well, except her brother, because her brother was out of state, but. Yeah, he's, uh, they're one of our best friends, but they, uh, anyway. Yeah, he decided not to, he's a, like a nurse. And he decided. I need to go wash my okay, he decided not to go because he didn't think it was safe, and the whole family ended up getting COVID except him because he chose not to go for that reason. So anyway, it was uh, pretty interesting. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. Hopefully, they'll be okay. They're all, uh, I guess, quarantined together in a house because they all live together, so. My first experience of authentic Asian food was at the Royal Inn across from Gate Pody. Ah, so good. Awesome. Yeah, this is... Um, Kit's family really likes this place. And this is one of the first places that I went. So my mom and I have been coming here since I was a little girl, like a teenager, little girl. Um, I remember coming here with my dad when we were kids. Um, my family just really likes this place. And anytime my friends would come and visit, this is like one of the first places we would take people uh, for like a good Okinawan food. So. This is very different. Yeah. I know we normally eat on camera with you guys, but it's normally like in front of a 7-Eleven or Lawson's. Yeah, we wanted to actually try going to a restaurant. So we're going to see how this goes. Just we actually order restaurant food. 
we always eat uh, 7-Eleven before the lives. Seven or Lawson's and stuff like that. I'm actually going to check to see how my friend's doing because I haven't talked to her in a minute. I'm thinking... Uh, now that I'm like, we're talking about her. You know, our thought process behind this was, one, we wanted to kind of do things uh, that maybe you guys experienced while you were here in Okinawa. And although we go to a bunch of theme parks and stuff, eating at restaurants is probably something you guys did a lot. And then if you haven't tried some places, we can also recommend some places for you guys to try and eat. And you guys have recommended a lot of places for us too, so. But yeah, it's like having dinner together. So we're having dinner with you guys. Yeah, you guys and are And you guys lunch. are sitting across from us at the table. Yeah, that's what it feels like. We're just having a nice dinner conversation with 37 people. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Just a big party. See, oh, I, know. I don't know if we're allowed to. We well, they, huh? Isn't that like you can't have more than 10 people in a room with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it might be nice for them, too, because, like, regardless if it's in Okinawa or not, they probably can't even sit inside restaurants, a lot of them. Depending on well, what state they're in. That's what Chim was, uh, Chim was saying. Oh, really? She was like, uh, let me see. Um, sh oh, yeah, I love you. Uh, I love that you can still eat indoors. Okinawans uh, are more free than Americans in America. Mm. No, not Layo. Dayu. Uh... Oh, hey, Paul. Welcome. Happy New Year. Oh, there's our food. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for... I literally haven't had this. Actually, I think the last time we had this was on my, my YouTube video. Well, it's... It's been... It definitely wasn't this year. Because <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have it yesterday. You're so funny. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Daikon the Hana is still around. Last time I went to Daikon the Hana, I mean, I know they're super organic and fresh, but literally I had a live, live snail in my salad. That's how fresh they are. <laughs> so if anyone's ever doubting the freshness of Daikon the Hana, it's pretty fresh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Daikon the Hana does taste good though. I was kind of turned off by that live snail in my salad. But I guess, I mean, escargot, right? Yeah, Oliver, Chris uh, was going to do something with us, but he can't eat in restaurants at the moment. So originally we were actually going to go to the temple um, with Chris today uh, because, you know, in the, it's the New Year's. But there was a couple reasons as to why Matt and I canceled. Actually, we ended up canceling on Chris, and I feel bad for it, but we... The one, I didn't really want to go into a crowded place. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be packed. Yeah, I didn't want to go into a crowded place. I really felt, especially because Matt and I still have, you know, we moved out to our own apartment, but I still have to make trips to my uh, my family's house where my grandpa and my gra uh, uncle and, like, everybody is, and I don't want to, like, risk catching something and then taking it to my family's house. So I had, a, I had like, a change of heart at the last minute, which sucks because I... When I'm in Okinawa, I do this every year. You know what I mean? Go to the go to the temples and do all of that. But also, we wanted to try something different for our live in Okinawa. So yeah, see if you guys like just food. Yeah, because this is easy for us, and we're very happy. And to we're eat also in front of you guys. <laughs> we're also hungry. <laughs> Usually, we're with you guys. You guys yeah. should go get a meal as well since you're sitting across the table from us. But I wanted to mention you guys. Uh, mention it to you guys. Uh, Chris actually started a YouTube channel, um, and I'm going to post the link here in a little bit, and I'll pin it. Today, I'm not even going to uh, talk about our Patreon. Today, I'm going to push Chris's YouTube channel <laughs> because uh, he's working really hard on it, so I'll put it, put it on the pin comment, but uh, show him some love. Oh. Uh, hi, so yeah, he, he started a YouTube channel. I'm really, really proud of him. He's going to try posting a video a day. Um, okay, but, let's go to the Yeah, food. so here's our food. This is our food. So I got the pork chaha. So pork, this was how much? 
pork. So I got the pork fried rice. This right here is about 730 yen. So 730 yen for this. I got so the mini size. Seven dollars. Yeah, maybe so less. Maybe about eight dollars. Ten cents. Which in California, this would be like at least 13, 14 dollars. Yeah, probably. Sorry. <laughs> Matt and I have lived in, well, he lived in, like, California all his life, but I lived in Sacramento for 10 years, so all my price comparisons are going to be from California. California prices. <laughs> um, but I got the pork fried rice. So when Okinawans usually talk about pork fried rice, they usually mean they have spam in it. <laughs> so I got spam. I'm going to raid the fridge. There's a mini Okinawa soba. Matt got the beef fried rice. I mean, you can't come here and not get the fried rice. And then obviously his also came with Okinawa soba. Well, we come here and not get the fried rice sometimes. Yeah, and then I regret it. No, they have amazing other stuff. They do, but their fried rice is so good. <laughs> All right. And then this is, uh, this is the radish, pickled radish. And we're gonna eat in front of you. <laughs> it's like we're having dinner together, you know? There we go. Okay. Um, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Here's I'll have some of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I've been getting this pork fried rice specifically since. Ohashi, anagashimasu. Since I was a little, since a little kid. The first time I had this fried rice, I've never turned back. I still, to this day, in fact, I've taken so many of my friends here visiting from the States and stuff, and they still, they're like, oh my gosh, I have dreams about this fried rice. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm really talking up the fried rice. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> All right, I'm going with the Okinawa soba first. I love the pickled lard Mm-hmm. It's not chili. I just, I'm too lazy to take it off. So, actually, what is that? The Okinawa soba is really good. I wouldn't say this is like the best Okinawa soba in Okinawa, mm -hmm. but it's like. It's, Hi, Maya. It's high mid, high mid tier. That's what I would. That is like melt in your mouth. Good. Oh my gosh. Every time I come here, I'm surprised at how good it is. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think they have lard in here. I think that is probably something that they put in here. I can't understand what they flavor this thing with. It's been pretty cold, so actually the Okinawa soba is really good. 7-Eleven does have some good stuff though. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, they do pretty good. Actually, believe it or not, 7-Eleven has some pretty good fried rice also. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. The frozen one. So today in Okinawa, it's 64 degrees, which some of you will probably laugh because we're wearing a jacket at 64 degrees. But hey, it's an island. We're, we're islanders now. 64 degrees is cold. This is really good. Is it? There's like, I feel like it's pretty salty. Yeah, it's salty. I like the flavor, but... I think they probably oversalt the beef. Here, let me try. Mm. It's, I, I can taste a hint of garlic on mine. Mmm. Mm. You wanna try mine? Oh, yours is good. Mm -hmm. Yours is good. Let me do a close up. I don't normally like beef, but that is good. You can see everything in it. This is a nice live. <laughs> For us, it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We were we've been trying to think about. So, we've been trying to think about ways we can improve live in Okinawa, because after doing live in Okinawa every Sunday for an entire year, I'm honestly feeling like we've done so much of it. 
And I know there's a few things we've missed, like going to the islands, which is kind of like, it requires some planning, so it's been hard for us to like do, uh, because you have to get on the boat at a specific time. And then also there's other things that are kind of off limits, you know, like the aquarium. I don't mind going to other theme parks because they're open spaces, but the aquarium's a little nerve wracking for me because it's in a building with people. The other thing with the aquarium, I don't think we'll have phone service. Yeah, because it's underground. I Not underground, but like... For, for a lot of it, anyway. Well, yeah, because they are surrounded by water. Underground. In a, in a steel building. Yeah. Because I also wanted to do the uh, bomb shelter thing. Mm -hmm. But that's underground. Because there's like these abandoned bomb shelters in Naha. The Navy one? Yeah, the Navy... It's like a bunch of tunnels and stuff you could tour, and they're actually supposedly haunted. I thought it'd be a really good live video, but I think it's gonna have to be a regular video if we ever go there, because I, think I don't think there's gonna be service. So we're kind of struggling in terms of like ideas for this. Um, uh, there's a lot of things we're talking about right now, but we wanted to try maybe going to a restaurant with you guys, because I was sitting here and I was like, you know, I know going to all these places are nice, but a lot of people who used to live here used to do just normal things like go to restaurants and eat food and, you know, go to Coco's or go eat Okinawa Soba, so. Yeah, yeah the, the Navy Naval. Underground. Hmm. So we're trying to think about formats about how we can like make this better, not just for you guys, but also for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's really good. I really want some rayu, but I can't. Mm -hmm. I want some rayu. It was the off-limits place across from my apartment. We would go get yakisoba. <laughs> Addicting has been to follow us. <laughs> I appreciate it, Virginia. We almost went to Coco's. It's right across the street. You know, normally I would say yes to Coco's, but for today, like, I wasn't really feeling Coco's. Yeah, I suggested Coco's multiple times. I would have been down, but she wanted Okinawa soba. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, Okinawa is not anywhere as strict as America. Business is as usual. I mean, this, we could, they could probably, I mean, I've seen this place crowded. I've seen other places crowded. Like, there's no limit to how many people can enter specific stores. There's no limit to how many, like, indoor, outdoor seating, except unless you're in the military. With the military, they can't eat inside. They're probably, it looks like, probably wondering what we're looking at. Yeah, sorry. Uh, a guy was... A gentleman was choking, so... We're kind of analyzing the situation to see if we have to... There's people helping him. Yeah, there's people helping him. I don't want to, like, overcrowd the situation, but seeing if I need to run in there. I think he's good. Okay. Anyway. 
it's not that crowded here. Um, are they kicking you out? Sorry, I just want to make sure he's okay. Like, if I need to get up and go give him... Do you want to go check on him? They seem like they know what they're doing. He's, I think it happens a lot. Yeah, just so no one's freaking. It's an older gentleman, and he's got like his two. I think it's. I don't his, know, he's in a wheelchair. Or, wife or something. I don't know. Yeah, he's in a wheelchair. So. But it looks like it's a regular. They they look pretty experienced with it. So. Yeah. Anyway, it's just yeah, I'd, eye catching. I'd, I'd go run and help, but there's like moments where they like, have like kits and stuff. Like overcrowded. Um, yeah, I think he's okay. Um, no, we're not getting kicked out. We don't. Yeah, we're we're okay. We're just making sure we're allowed to be here. <laughs> um, snorkeling is awesome. The restaurant is not crowded. He's talking, so he's okay. Full of memories for me. I was there 18 months and saw. Oh, I was there for 18 months and saw more with your lives than when I lived there. Oh, um, uh, really? Yeah, we've done a lot, actually. I, I mean... This live in Okinawa has actually helped us quite a bit. Just like... Look. It's basically forcing us to find a place to go or something to see in Okinawa every Sunday. So, because of this, we've seen a lot of the island. You know, it's really nice. Um... I always eat my soba noodles with chopsticks. Always. I would usually eat this with chopsticks too, but they give us a spoon so I kind of reach for it. I think this fried rice is more for a spoon. It's really like crumbly. It's, yeah, it's not like a sticky fried rice. Yeah. They make it so perfectly every time though. I don't know how they do it. Mm -hmm. They've perfected this fried rice over the years. Yeah, the gentleman's okay for anybody wondering. Yeah, he's doing okay. He's talking now. Mm. Sorry, sorry, we didn't mean to. We didn't mean to scare you guys. Mm. The people with him weren't really panicking, so. Yeah. He's an older gentleman and he's in a wheelchair and I think I, I think, think it's they like might a be, regular. Yeah, I think it might happen quite often. Um Chris, I was telling people you started your YouTube channel. Can you go ahead and pin your or comment your YouTube channel so I can pin it for everybody? Just be like, "Hey guys, this is Kuya's new YouTube channel." Some, some of the some tours of the small oh, some s small eateries in little town is always small places where only locals or taxi drivers yeah easy to eat fried rice with spoons unless it's sticky rice yep I, exactly I mean I can eat it with a chopstick I just I get I get more in my mouth with a spoon. <laughs> And let's be honest, that's the important part here. <laughs> mm. 
This is so good though. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're cutting up his meat. We'll have to get <laughs> making it smaller. We're making it smaller. Um, and I think, Chris, we can maybe bring you some. I can ask if they can do takeout. Yeah, if they do takeout. You know, I'm just thinking about it. Can we try? Do I have cash? I have cash. No, I can just call them and ask them. Oh. That's right, we have a button. I forgot. あ、こんにちは。あの、お持ち帰りってできます? Chris. Uh, let me know what you Actually, I'll just text you. It'll probably be easier. <laughs> yeah. This is a place for anyone that missed it called Chidugwa. In, uh, well, they have different locations. This one's in um, Uruma or Okinawa City? No, Uruma? Uh, Okinawa City. Oh, Okinawa City. And these are, these are all the restaurants they have. If you guys ever want to pause or freeze frame or anything and then translate. Well, I think the Chatan one, which is the last one, is not... It's not one. there anymore? I don't think that one's there anymore. But it's an Okinawa restaurant that I believe a lot of Americans don't necessarily know about because there's no English writing on the building at all. So a lot of people don't try it. But we're in Okinawa City, across from Arashi and Coco's Curry. There's Arashi, and Coco's Curry is that building. You can sort of see it behind the trees there. And this sign says Okinawa Soba, which is where we're at. That's for this place. Oh yeah, the picture is mirrored. Sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. Well, we gotta flip it. We could use the other camera, I guess. Yeah, we'll have to flip it. Ooh, I'm getting to the spicy bits of the soup. Mm. And it's so good. But going back to what I was talking about, um, about... Oh, the food is so good. He was eating it too fast. Oh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Um, but I was going to say, um, Okinawa, or Japan, I think is a... It's strict for the military, even though mili I think the military still goes out and does stuff. But um, business is pretty much as usual in Japan. Uh, we don't really have as re like crazy restrictions. Our numbers are getting higher in um, our numbers are getting higher in like Tokyo and stuff. And Okinawa also has exploded in numbers too. But I think it's combined with winter and also holiday season. You know, with the New Year's and like all of that, as well as. Um, there's still people who go to bars, and I think that's a, like a really big problem. Because mm. I know a few people who have gone to bars in Okinawa and gotten COVID. <clears throat> so, but aside from that, like everybody wears a mask. Um, a lot of people are really good about sanitizing their hands. Um, Okina uh, Japanese people tend to wear masks anyways. Like people have always gone and worn masks, so. It wasn't like a huge transition for everybody to have to wear a mask. Mm. So. Husband's favorite yakisoba. Here, you want to see this? Yeah. That easier. Go right here. Um. Uh. Yes, one street over from the co-op grocery store. Yes, one one street over from the co-op grocery store. Um, I've been there, Chitagua Soba House. My husband's favorite is, I love their yesai soba too. Mm. I, I, they're so good. It, that's the vegetable soba, it's so good. What is the temperature in Okinawa? It's right. like 63. Yeah, I think it was like 63 or 64. I know, it looks like we're 
Celsius, so it's like really hot. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll live only hot. <laughs> Do you have a curfew? No. Well, neither of us are affiliated with the military. Yeah, we have no military. But I think, anything. I know Californians are curfewed. Like the state of California, everyone has to be home by a specific time. So, is that a real baby or is that like a ringtone? No, that's a real... Why would anyone use that as a ringtone? It was a ringtone like 10 years ago that everybody used. The laughing baby? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's a real baby. Man, it sounds so... Uh, uh, but yeah, we don't have a curfew. We don't have I don't a know. He could be a uh, voice actor. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're okay. We don't have curfews or anything. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are for the military, though, guys. If you're American here because of the military, I don't know. I don't know um, what they have to do. Well, in a depart... Uh, I know this changes all the time, but I know Chris couldn't come with us today, so... I mean, I think it also... He's not military, just, you know, works. I think it also depends on what branch of the military you are, because they all yeah. have different rules and regulations on what they can and can't do. And they change a lot. That's mm -hmm. constantly changing. And they change immediately. Yeah, my, I have so many friends in California that are experiencing lockdowns and curfews. Like, it is crazy over there. Oh, military doesn't have curfew as far as I know. Yep, they're changing all the time. I'm actually quite surprised that so many of you are sticking around to eat with us. You guys must still be eating your meals, too. <laughs> How's your uh, Okinawa soba? That's good. <laughs> I like those. <laughs> like those kids' DVDs or kids' movies or whatever. And like, how are you doing today? Oh, yeah. Where is the apple? It's literally on the That's table. That's great. Oh, like Dora the Explorer? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Do you see Swipey? Swiper. Swiper? Is that his name? I don't know. Dora how was a little bit after. My time. Yeah, I was like already a teenager when that thing was popular. So I was already pretty much getting into teenager when Blue's Clues, not Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues was a little bit after our time, too. No, Bear in the Big Blue House. Like, I did sometimes I watch Blue's Blue Clues, House. but it was because nothing was else nothing else was on the cartoon shows. Mm -hmm. And I was already, like, 10 or 11. Yeah. So it was, like, it's kind of more for, like, five-year-olds. But... friend in California is on lockdown. Yeah, everybody's on lockdown in California. Yeah, it's all crazy. our friends are in lockdown. Eighty-one in Florida. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Florida's usually pretty warm, though. Yeah, it's pretty tropical. It's pretty cold here. Well, looks like it's warming up, actually. I'm drinking beer. That'll work. <laughs> uh, it said once she was a Dora the Explorer kid. Did I? You might have. I made a bologna and cheese sandwich. Nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, we could all cook together and cook along with you. Actually, that is a good idea. I don't think y'all want to follow my cooking. <laughs> it's very ratchet. You could like, you'll have to post yep. well, beforehand the ingredients you need and then... Well, first of all, y'all are going to have to buy an air fryer. Because <laughs> that's probably going to pop up. Somebody sent me this. Does anybody know who sent me this? Somebody emailed this to me because I won't shut up about the air fryer. 
<laughs> Okinawa soba on New Year's. Yeah, we had that too. And the Sun Noodle, you know, I've heard the Sun Noodle brand is actually a really good brand too. So this is what pe somebody sent me on, on my uh, email address. How people who own an air fryer look at people who don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> even, even Joe was like, I talk, uh, uh, he tweeted at me. He was like, you talk about the air fryer so much that it's popping up on my trending page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just because they watch you? And I'm not getting sponsored for it. Are you tagging it or something? No. <laughs> oh, wait, I did. Yeah. On my Instagram post. I can't find Okinawa noodles in Kansas. Oh no. Yeah, Kansas doesn't seem like a place that's. I mean, it was uh, it was lucrative with Okinawa noodles. It was harder to find in California too. Like you could find the Okinawa instant noodles, but you couldn't. Find you could like... find them, but you couldn't find the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> That meme showed up in my office shots. Were you the one who sent it to me, Joe? <laughs> Somebody sent it to me, and I thought it was funny. More water? Uh, yes, please, actually. In there? Yes. I want some cold something, Joe. This water is too cold. Not too far, I just didn't know. Sorry, it takes me a minute to eat. Abundant with Okinawa noodles? Lucrative doesn't necessarily make sense. No, lucrative wouldn't be, make sense. Because that's like <clears throat> money. Should I order Chris's meal to go now? You can't. I'll wait till I'm done eating. Oh, Mary sent that to you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was wondering who it was because there was no name. Mary. <laughs> I was like, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> but I was wondering who sent it to me. <laughs> Even Chris ended up borrowing an air fryer from a friend. Okay, yesterday I did this thing with the air fryer. We're going to talk about the air fryer for a little bit. I know I'm like three years late to the air fryer game, but um, yesterday I cut up some green, like fresh green beans and broccoli, and then I tossed it in butter, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic, and then I just fry, uh, air fried it for about, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes, just kind of like tossing it every so often inside the air fryer, and oh my gosh, it turned out so good. Chris freaking oh, air vegetable thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Chris air fried his hand uh spam in the air fryer. Oh, I thought you said his hand. <laughs> I mean you can air fry anything. <laughs> there she goes, there she goes again. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm like so impressed. You know what, you, did you know that air fryer is just a toaster? It's a glorified toaster. It's a toaster on steroids. It literally acts like a toaster. It just has a fan attached to it. So it like cooks it evenly. Okay, I'll stop talking about Are you still talking about the air fryer? I'll stop talking about the air fryer. <laughs> Yeah. If you wanted to, you can make one in your garage. Just get a toaster and a house fan. <laughs> I think I will try my air fryer tomorrow. Before you know it, air fryer is going to get all these sales and they're going to wonder where it's coming from. <laughs> I think they're doing fine. <laughs> because everyone that has one is like you. <laughs> Fryers are awesome. They're so easy to clean, too. Okay, I'll stop talking about it. Oh, that's a person. What I, are you doing? I thought it was a balloon. What? <laughs> I thought it was a balloon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sean. Mm -hmm. 
So. My, my, t my lips feel very like buttery or greasy or lardy. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they put lard in this. There's no way this doesn't taste good without lard. Mm. Oh, did you get an induction burner? Let me know how that goes. I personally like to cook on like gas. I'm like one of those old old school people who like gas burners. I don't like electric burners, so I'm kind of hesitant about the induction burner. I uh, <clears throat> I had a few people suggest getting an induction burner for uh, for my place because I don't have a stove. I'm using one of those uh, camping stoves right now to make our dinners and stuff. So. Yes, we did. Matt doesn't eat his though. Can I have your pickles? Oh yeah, sure. I love the pickles. What is it, radish? Yeah, have you had it? Yeah, I think it's good. I love the pickles. This is like one of my favorite parts. What, does he like the induction stove or anything? I don't know too much about Uncle Roger except for the fact that he insulted a woman for making bad rice. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's Did awesome. Did you post or something? I mean, I've been talking about it on my YouTube channel. Oh, really? That you're binging, we're binging Harry Potter right now? Yeah. Ichiro, tell me how that turns out lard on your fried rice. I'm pretty sure it takes, it'll taste good. I might have to try the induction. I don't know, I'm so used to cooking on gas, so. Gas is also cheaper than electric, which is probably one of the reasons why I'm like kind of hesitant because I don't want my electricity bill to go up. I should uh, order for Chris's stuff. Does he know what he wants? Mm -hmm. Let me double check. Oh, hi. Oh, sorry. 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 It's cool they're doing takeout because for a while they weren't doing takeout. They don't do takeout normally? No, they don't. But I think every restaurant that never used to do. I love it. Except for that part, yeah. I like the style of it. So cheap. Side. I think everyone thinks it's really cold because we're wearing these jackets. Yeah, it's not that cold. Honestly, I probably didn't even have to wear a jacket today. I think it's a good habit. Stack all the dishes between the table. Yeah, um, I think a part of it is being in Japan, you know. Um, because in J Japan, especially if you go to like food courts and stuff, 
um, after a meal, you return your plates and stuff to the place where uh, the place where you got your meal from. They have like a each, each restaurant has a meal uh, plate return after you eat, and then people, you know, should wipe it down and everything. So I think a part of that was just living here. But also, I used to be a, a wait waitress, and let me tell you about people who don't clean up after themselves as a waitress. <laughs> it was Well, it doesn't have to be like this, but there are people that make a crazy mess. Yeah, we used to have people who would come into, and I don't know, I hated that part about where I worked was our floor was carpeted. Uh -huh. And then we'd have these people come in with their kids, which is fine, but then their kids would just spill, like just literally throw rice onto the ground. And then it would take me like 30 or 40 minutes while I'm trying to wait other people and help other people cleaning rice off the ground after they've all stepped in it. And it's like, oh, it was so, it was so horrible. So I try to make people's jobs as easy as possible. I'm also one of those people at hotels where after the hotel, we're done staying. Like I will actually pile all the dirty laundry in one area. I'll try to clean everything as much as I can because I know like all these cleaners and stuff, they have to get to their next room at a specific time. So I try to make it easy for people as much as possible. Uh, how's the new digs? It's good. We love it. We love everything about it. It's awesome. Chris, yeah, but Chris, you're, you're really, you're really bad when it comes to uh, temperature. You get cold really easily. I actually wouldn't mind trying living, uh, living in the snow again. I miss, I kind of miss the snow sometimes. Having like a snowy Christmas. We'll be live in Hokkaido. Eventually, I'd like to have a house in like Hokkaido area, and then maybe a house in Okinawa, so we can like flop back and forth. Mm. That would be cool. Yeah, I always try to clean up after myself at hotels. Yeah, I know some adults though. <laughs> they do make a. Yeah, I like because you know, my thought process isn't just to make their jobs easier. It's also like. You know when you're rushing to get stuff done because you have to do so much of it? You start missing things, right? And I feel like when you leave a big mess and you're like on a time crunch, then you start half-assing the rest of the rooms or the rest of everything else. And I think when you think about stuff like that, it, I don't know, I just, I think it's just all around more helpful if people just kind of help out a little bit. Now I'm kind of in food coma. I'm not, like, not even moving. <laughs> Matt froze. It's uh, only this side of the screen is loading. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm like super full now. Ah. Okay. Are either of you messier than the other? Yep. Yep. Can you guess who though? Who's the messier one between the both of us? Time for a little nap. That'll be the ne next live. Yeah, that'll keep. be the next live. Just watch us take a nap. Oftentimes we have a hard time getting up on these things. Maybe we should just start it in bed. And then just stay there. All right, good night, guys. <coughs> no, I'm messier. I'll admit that. <laughs> it's not that I'm messier. It's more like I'm cluttered. Like, I, I've gotten a lot better at it. But I, uh, I tend to, like leave things instead of taking care of it right away which ends up <laughs> Symphony. Sin Cynthia thought I was messier I'm actually kind of a clean freak no I wouldn't even say that no. you what know what it? that's funny that you organization 
So there's a difference, right? He's more he's an organized person. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to like cleaning, I usually end up doing a lot of the cleaning. Because I'm also I'm kind of anal. Oh, I'll clean. Sometimes. What's the last thing you cleaned? The sink in the kitchen? Oh. I don't know, we both take turns. I like, think. after I cook every meal, I like alcohol sanitizer area and like wash the sink. Mm. I also do a lot, I also do a lot of the laundry too. But there's like specific ways I want things done, so Matt, I think, has a harder time keeping up with it. Oh, your stuff? Yeah. Well, like when I you, feel, I, when you I hang think it's clothes, the same thing for me. When you hang clothes, like, I have to have the hangers in a specific direction and the clothes have to all be facing a specific way because when I open my closet, it looks so weird when like the everything is like mismatched. I hate that. Even in my wallet, I have to have the bills facing a specific direction. Like all the bills, when I get like a stack of bills, which never happens because I don't have a lot of money, but when I do, it, they all have to be facing a certain way. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's OCD. Maybe, <laughs> maybe like a slight. There are things that I want specific ways too that it bothers me when you don't put things back. Mm -hmm. That's something that really, mainly, yeah. Yeah. and I, I'm sure a bunch of people can relate to this, but mainly because when I go to use it, it's not there. Yeah. Especially because you use my stuff and then you lose my stuff. And then I'm like, okay, not is it not only is it not where it's supposed to be, not where I left it to use next time, but you also don't even know where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that's so frustrating. Yeah, I'm very disorganized in that way. Um, <clears throat> I think a part of it, though, is I also don't value stuff as much as... I should. It's not about valuing stuff, though. So. It's about convenience. Well, I mean, it's about putting stuff back, I know. It's like making sure that it's there when you need it next. Yeah, I don't think like me going to charge my phone and it not being there has to do with me valuing stuff. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> no, I do. I That is a big problem that I have. I'm trying to get better at it. Like, I have to consciously tell myself, to do it now instead of later because I know that I'm not going to do it later. That's definitely something I'm trying to change. I have my clothes in order of color. I don't go that far. I don't think we have enough clothes. Yeah, we don't. I have like six pairs of shirts. You mean CDO. Go back to the color wheel, white and black. <laughs> you guys can do a version of the newlywed game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is the newly... I, I, don't, I never watched the show. There's some funny, funny episodes. Anyway, what do you want? You want to get going? Oh, well, Chris's food's going to get cold. Yeah, let's go. So. We could maybe drive a little bit and end it somewhere. Or do you want to just end it here? <laughs> You have like little yellow in your eyes. What's that mean? Like, it's not just complete brown. What do you mean, my like eye you, color? Yeah, like if you look at my eyes, is it a strict brown? We should be switching places because you're in the shadows. Well, oh, it's okay. We'll be back Sunday. I think we oh, should. Oh, that's Desiree. Yeah, I think we should end it here because I don't want Chris's food to get cold. Okay, you want to end it here? No, I think it's a good place to end it. So once again, guys, you want to try this place? This is Chitagua in Okinawa, right across from Arashi. Okay, let me show you guys the menu one last time. Yeah, we'll show you the menu. Here's the restaurant, by the way, again too. But here's the menu. So this is the yeah, Okinawa soba menu. This is like. 
all the chicken. This is what Chris got. Um, and like I said, the most the most expensive thing on the menu is this, and it's only like fifteen. Like fifteen bucks. Yeah. yeah. Like the Oki like the Okinawa soba ranges from like six dollars to about eight. And then like this right here, this thing is huge. This mm. thing is like really, really big. And it's only about eleven. So it's it's fairly cheap. Maybe it's cheap to us because we're from California or at least you know, we lived in California. But this is the location we're at. This one is in Misato area, so if you guys want to check that out, come check that out. I don't know if these ones still exist. I don't think this one does, and that's the one in Japan. So you might have to come to this one. Hmm. Okay. And one more thing. Oh. If you guys do come and want really good fried rice. That's the one. That's the one. They have the pork, beef, and shrimp. I usually get the pork. Matt gets the beef. Someone will have to tell us how the shrimp is. We've had the shrimp before. I've had it. Is it good? Yeah, it is really good, actually. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thank you for I'm joining us. I'm glad you guys are full. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on our meal. Enjoy. Yeah, this is a fun one, just eating, yeah. trying out new restaurants. Well, not new to us, but, you know, maybe you guys want to try it. Yeah, come try it, if you can. That's mass. Not All right, love you guys. We'll see you next Sunday. All Thank right. you for joining. Bye.